like to uh, happen in Iran today? I would like for the youth of Iran, for their voices to be heard, and for there to be democracy, no political division, and everyone's voices be heard, no matter what ideology that you have. From Japan to Korea to Lahore to Manila to Dubai to Amsterdam to Paris to London to Bogota to Caracas to Washington Los Angeles San Francisco we all came together to be united for Iran and impressed that within the matter of a few weeks, an idea to bring ordinary citizens into the streets around the world went from just an idea to people in more than 110 cities around the world standing up in support of the rights of the people of Iran. Hi, what would you uh, like to happen in Iran today? I would just like the people's voices to be heard. Like, you know, whatever their demands are, to be understood by the government. I can't speak on their behalf as far as what they want. Whatever it is, they shouldn't be killed for it. They shouldn't respond. That's what the rest of us have, and I want the same for them. What would you like to happen today in Iran? Today we'd like the government of Iran to understand that nation is tired of this, uh, the way they handle the media, they handle the suppression of people, they, they handle the way they, uh, the youth and, uh, and in general we want them to hear the voice of people. The people of Iran have different voice than the government of Iran. And the voice is for freedom. They want them to hear that freedom is more important than anything else for them. More than religion, for them, more than anything else. Iranian, first they have to exist, then accept the religion. So first is to be Iranian. And to be Iranian means they want the freedom. The freedom that Kurosh the Great was the advocate and the way he wanted the world to be free, that's what the people of Iran wanted. So. I've been asked when I've done a few interviews about this um, if it was going to be used by the Iranian government to say interference and I say BS, I won't swear in public, but it, that is bull. you notice, every, every single oppressive government in the world that betrays its own people, that violates their human rights, that violates their civil rights, that imprisons people who dare to speak out, whether it's Burma, whether it's the people of Tibet, whether it's the people of Darfur, whether it is the Uyghurs in China, every time people stand up for the rights, what do the governments say? It's outside interference, trying to mess with our government trying to mess with our country. That is not true. It is the people of Iran demanding their rights. And what would you like to happen today in Iran? Um, I would want the same thing that we've been wanting for the past few months, like the past few months. Um, really for the government of Iran to listen to its people, free all political prisoners, not just from this past month, but from this entire 30 years that they've been ruling Iran. And really, we just want the voice
voices of the people in Iran to be heard. That's really, it's just as simple as that. For the people to be happy and to be in peace and not have to worry about what, if they say something, what they believe and if they fight for what they want, they're going to get killed. Democracy, freedom for all the Iranian people, for our women, for our kids, for all the prisoners to get free right now. And all the Islamic Republic to get out of our country. Because we don't want them no more. Because nobody wants them. They're just standing behind the book of the Holy Quran, but they're the devil. Because just like in the Holy Quran, God says people will come with our book, but they are the wrong people and they are the ones. They're the Like we are here, have freedom, have freedom of speech, freedom of action, be able to go outside without having to wear the veil, the ladies, and just have a cup of coffee and be able to talk about anything. Velvet Revolution.